last Saturday, we had events of solidarity with Palestine in almost all the provinces of the country. We had a big event in Havana, in the capital, with the presence of our president, Miguel Diaz Canel. And we will always accompany you, my dear brother. Thanks to the professor, thanks to you, thanks to our colleagues from the embassy, for the members of the Cuban Medical Brigades here in Zimbabwe, for the media that uh, has the historical responsibility of letting the world know about the truth of what is happening in the brother uh, country, the sister nation of Palestine. For us, it's extremely important to denounce any unjust um, action against the world. It is not a secret for you that we have been suffering for 62 years um, the embargo of the American state, the longest in the history of mankind, imagine, and war is not allowed, it's, it's not logical. Um, this genocide against innocent people like women, children, and we need to denounce without getting tired every day what is happening in Palestine. Um, we need to claim for the immediate cease of fire because it is illegal. Israeli occupation is illegal and we need to denounce it and we will always count on the solidarity of the Cuban people and I'm sure that on the solidarity of the Zimbabwean people too. And this step should, should be completed and I hope the other countries will take uh, a progressive uh, or active uh, actions soon just to finish this scandal under the, uh, uh, the, 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 the title of sanctions. And we want also to send our congratulations to the leadership of Zimbabwe led by His Excellency Comrade Emerson Dambozo Munangago and his colleagues in the leadership of the country, the government, and all the Zimbabweans for their uh, passion and their struggle and their hard work to reach this point. Because this point didn't happen for nothing. It happened with a lot of suffer, of suffer and a lot of struggle.